Today, I will be teaching you how to power on your iPhone 5 if your power button and home button is broken. So, as you can see, it's not working. Also, here, it's not. Alright. Kanang, ang saon ako pag andar. So, first, get your charger. Alright. So, I have here already. Okay. Now, this thing is, you need to be alert. And you need to be fast. Alright. So, once you plug na, the charger into your phone, then the logo will start or maybe it will show the battery like that. Uh, the logo starts now. Quickly remove and plug your charger. Alright, I will show you. Alright. Now, I'm gonna put this charger. When the logo shows, Okay, so you can see it shows the battery. Once the logo will start, we will unplug the charger so that it will not direct us, redirect us to iTunes. While waiting, look at this fighting fish. So beautiful. Alright, nice. Still not uh, showing the logo. Let's just wait. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you do not unplug it quickly when the logo starts. Now, I will turn this back again. So I unplugged it again. And, alright, I'm gonna demonstrate now. Let's look at what I will be doing. It shows the logo, then remove it. Alright, remove it. Now we have already access to your phone. Now I will be teaching you this step two. Alright. Let's just wait. Okay. Okay guys, so as you can see it's 5%. Let's turn off the Wi-Fi so we can save the battery. Oh, you cannot see. Alright, it's 4% already. Now I will charge this first. So we won't this won't turn off again. Okay. I'll be holding like this. Okay. Now, what I will be teaching you is how to save your power, okay? So, whenever you're using your iPhone, oh my god. Now, that is the problem, alright? It turns off. Sometimes, this power bot, home button is not working. It just works when I plug this charger, alright? Look at this. It's not not now in order to turn on you know you have to unplug your charger again oh no and then look at that and just click your assistive touch and click home okay what I will be doing all right let's just use slow power go to your settings find assistive touch this and turn it on all right so you can have this one so this is will this will be your power bot a home button all right like that let's go to where was that where was that go to your display and brightness and auto lock now it's um low power mode but your auto lock will be set to none, right? So I'm gonna just turn off the low power mode so I can show you. Go to display and brightness. Auto lock never, alright? Check that. Alright. Now to save battery, let's turn low power. Okay. So when you are in low power mode, it's 30 seconds only. Alright. Now. 
I will show you how to save your power and to make your iPhone 5 on the move always so it will not sleep no turn off now go to your clock and go to bedtime now you have to turn it on all right turn your bedtime on so it will uh, you know uh, has your phone has movement all right so if you are not using it always because if you're not using your phone always it will turn off all right and the battery is gone no now you have to turn that off. okay so that's it for today now if you want to lock your phone all right if you want to lock your phone lock screen and then if if your power button is broken or your home home button lagi home button and power button then you can apply the charge unplug unplug trick but make sure that you will be careful because it will broke this port here if you are harsh enough Okay, so just let it charge to be pulled. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope that it helps. Note, this is not a remedy of your phone, but this is just a temporary one. If you want your iPhone 5 to be fixed, then bring it to the manufacturer. <laughs> manufacturer. Bring it to a technician or... Uh, yeah, bring it to a technician. Okay, thank you. I hope it helps you and see you for another video